need the courage of artists like Tanya Bruguera to dissent both in Cuba and anywhere in the world where she sees that unjust power. So my name is Tania Bruguera, and I'm an artist working around political issues. The Institute for Art and Activism that I'm opening in Havana came out of the realization that most of the violence that we see in the world come out of fear as a response uh, to things you do not know that you can handle or uh, do you don't see clearly. And I think a civic literacy campaign and culture will help people to understand how to work with their fears in order to transform their fears into a peaceful, creative outcome. In order to understand what is happening around you, you need to have the tools. Art is not only a tool for social change in a conceptual way, but also in a very tangible, human way where people get faith uh, that things can be different only because they want to and they will try to. O sea, creo que el mayor obstáculo que puede tener el, el instituto es como es la censura, que es el mayor obstáculo que siempre han tenido los intelectuales dentro de Cuba que han sido marginados por decir o por tener una posición eh, firme, una posición como de cambio. En, yo tengo cosas que decir también. Y cuando se tienen cosas que decir en Cuba hay un, hay un problema. It is important not only that the institute has its core space in Havana, but also that is in all Havana, a place where many different visions of Cuba coincide. You have a foreigner visiting as a tourist with the projection of the country they want to see, together with people who are maybe unemployed or with very, very modest uh, salaries. So all Havana is the perfect place where all the frictions that we're living right now in the transition we're going through are being enabled and are visible. I support Tania Bruguera for her integrity and the way she conceives art, not as a reflection on life, but as a direct action. This institute is intended for reflection and discussion, but also for the advancement of ideas that can result in change. It is this integration of a political involvement in all that we do that makes this project worth supporting. I hope you will as well. So we have somehow the critical mass to start. So it's going to be like housewives, it's going to be students, workers, everybody. We call it Cubano de a Pie, uh, walking Cuban. What we need to kick off the, the project is as many people as possible supporting, um, even which is with one dollar, but it's just a way to show the Cuban government there are many, many people in the world and in Cuba who wants to see this project happening. The only way we can do the institute in Cuba is with you. <laughs>